You know, now that a lot of the items drama is kind of wrapped up, I'm currently doing a, a main channel video on the, on the Turkey Tom channel, basically going over, you know, the whole Creator Clash controversy and why Creator Clash 2 failed. And I think that one big question that a lot of people have been asking is like, can items redeem himself? Can he, can he come back from whatever, whatever state he's in right now? And it's a question I've, I've asked many times with a lot of content creators. And the, the question sort of comes in multiple ways. One question as far as can he redeem himself would be, can he reclaim the old audience he had before? And I think the answer to that is no, unless you want to live in a fantasy world in which iDubbbz goes back to making content cop and the old stuff he used to make, and he just he just makes that. As far as reclaiming that audience, I think it's over. He's clearly expressed an intention to basically just shit on those people, get them completely out of his entire wheelhouse. He doesn't want them on his channel. He doesn't want to make that content anymore. And it's not even just like the, the edgy stuff. It's like making fun of or criticizing people in general it seems to be something that he like feels bad for. And so he'll, he'll never regain that audience. I think that's like it's it's more than clear that that's that's over, right? It's not happening. So then the question becomes, can he redeem himself in another way? And I think that the the question kind of comes down to, could he just be famous again? You know, could he could he regain his audience? And I think that the obvious answer to that to me is yes. Can he regain the old audience? No. Can he get an audience? Yes. And how could he do that? Well, I think the answer to that is that he would just have to make videos that people like, videos that people want to watch, videos that people enjoy seeing. What we do here is go back, back, back. You know, if you go to the iDubbbz channel and you take a look at his content and you think about his history as a content creator, I think that it's kind of a mistake to attribute his success to the cultural and political implications of the time he came up in. Obviously, the time he blew up, being edgy was popular and that certainly helped him. There's no doubt about that. Being edgy on YouTube was it had social currency to it. Everything in the zeitgeist was edgy on YouTube. And so it, it was beneficial and it made sense. And so from an opportunistic standpoint, I don't think he did it cynically. But, for, but if you were to be opportunistic, I think there's no doubt that this this guy benefited from the time period he existed in, right? If he made the content he made back then, now, I mean, he might be popular, but he wouldn't be half as popular, right? There's no doubt about that. He wouldn't be half or even a fourth or even an eighth maybe as popular. I mean, maybe he could get a couple hundred thousand subs, but he could never be as big as he was back then. And that's simply because the, you know, the, the, the general online landscape is not supportive of that kind of thing. They're not cool with that. The average YouTube viewer has moved on from that and is more about sort of a social justice thing now. And what they want to call out is like, you know, racial transgressions or like, like, like racism, or they would want to call out like sexism or transphobia that's what people think is wrong now right that's the biggest thing for people to call out and back then it was more like you know content theft and, and stuff like that not that the content theft you know arguments don't happen now because obviously jack's films just made a video talking about that but you know back then like it was acceptable to call someone a content thief or or like call the fine bros greedy while also calling them a jew which items literally did now that would not go over very well i would i, I would speculate anyway i i don't really want to try my look at that one though to be honest with you but you know i think that the biggest thing that items could do to turn this around is not to like you know suck sam hyde's dick it's not to do a great creator clash it's to make content because for the past while he hasn't really made content when he does make content it's i mean what is this ants on a log around the world like to point at america and laugh well i don't see what's so flipping funny yeah we don't have a lot of culture so what sure we might not have recipes that date back thousands upon thousands of years cool good for you you're old yeah we like weird shit we like red dye 45 in all of our food and drink. Yeah, we like all of our food to be extruded through tubes that make it interesting shapes. But I don't want us Americans to forget that we do have culture. It might not be a lot. We do have recipes. Like nobody wants to watch this video. This is like a bullshit video and nobody cares about it. It feels like it's like a Eddie Burback ripoff, which is not what people don't watch. But items has shown that he's capable of making good content, even in his getting away with it video, which I think a lot of people disagree with. And I would even have problems with it. It's like a good video. Like it's a, it's, a, it's an entertaining video. The editing is good. It's like, a, a, it's 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 cool. It's cool. It has, it has some serious swag behind it, okay? Joey, can you open up the IW? gaslighting document <laughs> a song with the hook swag like high dubs mm. <laughs> and full force another video he released four years ago you know well after content cop was done is also a great video like it's entertaining it's well done now, i will say that if ian wants to play this whole anti-bully angle and feel bad for stuff he should probably not make videos where he basically makes the entire point of it to mock someone less fortunate than him who's like a redneck from the south or whatever or the midwest that he feels he can just like own and bully because he's you know and that's like someone that you can you can own in current day like imagine if he did this to like a minority of some kind, he would get 
and destroyed by, by by lefty Twitter or whatever, right? But regardless of that, like, it's a good video. It's a good video. And if he just did stuff like this, it would be fine. Whatever the hell he's doing right now is really bad. And so I think the answer to if Idebs can redeem himself in terms of getting a big audience again is obvious to me. Yes. Is he capable of it? Yes. Why he's not doing it is beyond me. I guess he's been focused on Creator Clash. But now at this point, it's been like, you know, Creator Clash has been over for, you know, well over a month. He clearly has time to do other stuff. So I don't really know what he does all day. I don't know if he's like grinding all day, making new butt plug molds for a new video about butt plugs. I feel like he clearly has the talent. He clearly has the skill. He could make entertaining content if he really tried. But for some reason, he's just totally, you know, averse to that as of late. And I think if he went back to making not even the same content, he doesn't even have to make bad unboxing. He doesn't have to make the sewer pickle video. He doesn't have to make content cop. If he went back to making good content, back to basics, make good content that people want to watch, he could redeem himself. Some of the audience would come back. Not all of it, but some of it would come back. He would gain a new audience and I would watch it too because I want iDubs to succeed. I think I want it to make good content. And that's the thing for a lot of content creators. No matter how much they F up, no matter what, you know, little controversies they get in, you know, even if they, you know, politically shift or whatever, I think the bigger issue is making good content. And this is reflected on even like the subreddit where there was this fan complaining about Ian not making enough content that was good. And then he, they were like, I'm unsubscribing. And then Anissa was like, well, you know, we're going through a hard time. And like, that is understandable. But from the viewer's perspective, who, who are not personal friends with Ian, they're there for videos. And when he's not providing videos, they're going to leave. So hopefully items can get back to making good videos rather than I made the most satisfying fidget toy, which I'm sure a lot of people want to watch that. Yeah. And if you liked this video, consider becoming a member. For $5 a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts, unreleased videos, and the members-only Minecraft server. Thanks so much to all of my YouTube members who fund my content.